Hi guys, my name is Brody, and today we're going to be talking about high data disease, the transmission, the zoonosis and the risks associated with it. So the transmission, the dogs become infected with some larvae and these larvae produce eggs that are expelled in the faeces of the dog onto pasture that sheep may be grazing and the sheep ingest the eggs that were expelled in the faeces and the fact that high data disease is zoonotic is uh, very risky for humans as they can become infected by accidental ingestion of eggs that can persist on the fur of the infected dogs and also once ingested by sheep or humans the eggs develop and travel into the blood and migrate to the liver and lung lungs forming cysts the dog can become reinfected when eating infected sheep carcasses or offal. So it's important to limit the amount of offal or infected sheep carcasses that dogs may be receiving. The risks associated with the hot added disease is that the dogs feed on uh, sheep carcasses and offal, as I've mentioned earlier, um, that have been infected. And also the presence of reservoir animals such as kangaroos or other native fauna and inconsistent worming of dogs is also a major problem. And because there is no treatment, prevention and elimination of the risk factor are the key to controlling the disease to break the life cycle of the hot added parasite. Um, so just some tips on how to eliminate hot added disease in your dogs and sheep as well. Is one, the first one is to avoid letting dogs feed on dead sheep carcasses that may be infected, although testing hasn't been done, so it's best just to prevent any sheep carcass from being eaten. Also, feed dogs commercially um, branded dog foods, because there's no risk of high data in these. Um, secure the dogs at night to prevent scavenging or roaming around, um, possibly infecting pastures or scavenging on roadkill or that type of thing. Um, another one is to worm all farm and house dogs once a month if in contact. Uh, and regular hand washing after contact with dogs and general hygiene. That's sort of just a general knowledge thing, but just to keep the heads up. And resting of infected pastures for more than a year. So it's very important uh, on an e economical basis for farmers that um, they keep this disease away. Otherwise, an infection for a whole year and having to keep the pasture... Um, vacant would create huge economical losses. Thanks guys.